hi guys welcome back to my channel um if you are new here please do me a favor subscribe and turn on the notification bell icon okay in the last video i showed you how to design this tool using the bezier this shape using the bezier tool so if you haven't seen that video that video i'll put a link to the video somewhere around this video and in the description section of this particular video in that video i go in depth on the bezier tool this is the bezier tool here i go in depth on it showing you how it works and how to create designs using this shape so i was able to come up with this shape and in today's video i'll just complete the logo for the client okay this is a paid work and it has already been completed but i'll just walk you through the steps i took in order to complete the logo so by following through to this point you've done more than half of the work because the majority of the works the work was on designing the shape so by following through you've done most of the job and now we're just going to add the text the brand name and apply 3d effects to the logo so let's get started I'm just going to reduce this a little bit and um, add a shape. Okay, so I downloaded this icon, these frames from pixabay.com. You can get all these kind of frames from there. Okay, alternatively, I would have built this using the BZ tool, but since it's already available online, it makes no sense um, repeating what it's not needed, so to say. So I'm just going to import it and um, add it to my work. I'm going to merge these two together and take it up a little bit. Um, then I'll align this in the middle. I'll duplicate it and change the alignment. So I'm just going to flip it. Okay, so now I have these two shapes, they are equal in size, or not really size, it's the same shape, one is just facing the other way, um, I would have just done like this, yeah. so there are different ways you could have gotten this. This is aligned in the center. This is aligned and let's see. Okay. So after this, I'm just going to write the brand name. And this is like a minimalist logo. I don't want to add um, details such as contacts and um, other details. I'll just write the brand name and the tagline.
Okay, so this is a default font that comes with Pixel Lab, the Chantelier Antiquan, something like that. So it's a default font, but I I think it captures what I want for this brand. So that's why I'm using it. Okay. So I'll try to reduce this a bit. And also reduce this. Just trying to get the shapes to be equal. Yeah, something like this. Okay, next up, I'll just apply colors, then apply my 3D shape, and we're done with this logo. So, before that, let me just merge because I want to use a unified color for everything. I'll just merge all together, then switch up the color. I want to use like a gold color, so I will reduce this. Okay. Yeah, something of this nature. Then I'll reduce the size of this icon. And lastly, I will import my 3D background and apply the 3D effects to it. So let's see. I think it's here. Okay, so now I'm going to change and apply emboss to. Okay, so this is a general issue that happens with Pixel Lab running on Android 10 and improve. So to get rid of it, you just like increase the shape until yeah, until it comes, and then you can take it down a bit. Getting it, yeah. So something like this, and I'll increase this and um, reduce this. Yeah. I'll also apply 3D shapes to this, reduce the depth and increase the darkness. Okay, finally, I'll apply um, shadows to it to give it that 3D effect. I'll set the offset for the X axis to be minus 5, the Y axis plus 2. Um, then I'll do something. If I save this, it will not bring out the shape I want, so I'm just going to add this. This is like, um, should I say, creating a shape with this size we have set. So we have this one, this inner icon, it's still using the 
chips when I merged everything together but applying this it will convert this layer to use the styles the styles are specified so this is like a hack to get over the pixel app issue on android 10 and above so if you run it like this and save your work you would get your shape as you want so i'm just going to apply shadows again to give it that 3d shape like effect i'll reduce the opacity Okay, so with this styling, I will just save and um, I'm done with this logo. Semi malice logo for a client. I'll export in ultra dimension to get the best quality. Yeah, so that's it, guys. As you can see, we've been able to design this you know, minimalist looking 3d logo for a client um thank you guys for watching if you are new to my channel and you want more design tutorials please subscribe in my next video i'm going to go in depth using the bezier tool to design another logo for a client so see you then bye for now